Okay, guys, as requested, I found an ATM, which Robinhood says will allow for access to the account. So we're going to see how this plays out. Congratulations, my acolytes of success, because you are watching the Success Channel. My name is Paul Vasquez at JD. I think that's the monochrome uh, that's posted here. And uh, yeah, I'm president of Tax Lab Pro Business Solutions, uh, co owner of Events and Design and Singularity Network. But that's not why I want to talk to you guys today. Viewers have requested and I've complied. It, it may not happen all the time, but uh, yeah, in this case, very good suggestion. I take you guys over to an ATM that, according to Robinhood, uh, accepts their card. And I'll show that to you guys now. Before we get into it, I should take a moment to encourage you to to give a little tickle to that like button there. And um, yeah, so that way uh, more people can enjoy my comedic eyebrows as we uh, as we discuss finances and how to help all of us succeed as acolytes of success. Um, yeah, so subscribe as well. Um, hit the notification button. I mean, I, I guess that's good for the algorithm. I I prefer your comments. If you're if you are choosing between hitting the bell. Uh, and, and giving a comment, I, I'd rather have a communication with you, uh, some dialogue with you than, than just being in your, in your mailbox as another thing there. But please do subscribe. That does help out with the, uh, YouTube algorithm and, and, and monetization and all that. Um, as well as, as giving out likes and watches and watching the video. Enjoy. All right, guys. So. This is what we're looking at here. We loaded the card in. And, uh, right there, we loaded the card in. So we're going to do a little passcode. And I have to look away for this real quick. All right. Let's see here. It says, Would you like your available balance on the receipt? Uh, do you like yes, continue main menu. To go with main menu. You ask me if I want to withdraw, account balance, transfer. It's not asking me if I want to deposit, and that's what I was actually hoping to do. So you can withdraw, looks like, do the uh, transfer. I don't know how you're doing a tran oh I guess you're transferring it to your to your bank account. Well, I mean I was hoping to actually deposit some money. So it's like that's not gonna happen. Uh, yeah. So click OK to continue. Cancel. Okay, and it lets me have my card back. So um, yeah, looks looks like you can't uh, do any deposits at least on this ATM. Uh, let me let me know you guys' experience if you've tried this. Like I said, I'm not looking to take any money out right now um, of it, but uh, that's what it looks like. I hope that helps, and we'll talk to you guys later. Okay, bye-bye. Just want to give you guys a little bit of feedback uh, from my experience at the ATM. Uh, as you saw there, it did not, at least that ATM, did not allow me to put money in. You know, So I can't go outside and search for quarters and then bring them back and 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 and, uh, and and make a go of it that way. I mean, wouldn't that be neat, though, right? Let's let's say let's say you're you're on hard times and you're out there collecting the bottles and the cans and everything to 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 change your stars in life. Robin Hood giving you, of course, that way that democratization of of the financial institutions. So you could go out there, put in all your bottle caps, bottles, bottle caps. Whatever, whatever uh, you gotta do, right? And you and you bring that little cash over to the ATM, and bingin' a bangin' a boom, you're you're invested. Uh, it's better than getting that scratch-off ticket because you're a winner every time. 
uh, you know, the value goes up and down. There is a bit of a gamble when it comes to the value of that. However, if you're if you invest in a dividend stock, uh, now you could change your fates. Um, not that I uh, the use my time's best uh, collecting bottles, but uh, you know, sometimes it's it's nice to be able to access that. Now, would I use an ATM to take money out? Probably not, because I have the card, and most places are going to accept the MasterCard. Now, there are places that I found. I have a PayPal uh, uh, debit card, which I believe operates sim similarly, but uh, of course, as a business account, it gives you 1% cash back, which the Robinhood card does not do, which is often criticism of the Robinhood card. Um, but uh, uh, PayPal isn't offering you any dividends or uh, interest uh, like Robinhood is. Maybe they will. Maybe PayPal will get a clue uh, from these folks and start offering interest on balances. And then they can do something with those uh, like banks and, and Robinhood might. However, once again, unless they are a place that does not accept MasterCard um, and I'm dead set on using the money uh, or margin in that account, then um, I'm not really sure what the benefit is uh, to the ATMs at that point. Most places that have an ATM are going to have the ability to accept credit cards. Um, if they don't, uh, then yeah, the ATM may, may be the best way to access that account. Uh, but because of how restrictive the Robinhood account is, uh, I don't know of a way yet that you can get your checks deposited in there, your paychecks or anything like that. Um, so you're still going to need a separate bank account. Uh, you're not going to be able to necessarily rely on the Robinhood card or that cash management account to do many of the things like bill pay. We don't have a bill pay on there. So there's lots of things that in a traditional checking account you have that is just not there in this Robinhood cash management account. Um, but I'm interested to see what Robinhood has next. Um, I want to thank uh, the the suggestion of going to of going to an ATM and and looking into that. It was a it was a fun little experience, and I wish you guys all the success.